Yo, what is up everybody? How are you guys doing today? Um, I am on the uh, BFA beta right now. There's been some changes to Windwalker Monks and I wanted to sort of go over some of the changes and talents and stuff like that and give you guys kind of an update um, on how I feel like they're gonna be doing and some of, yeah, my thoughts on the changes. Um, what up, Zealous? So, some of the changes, uh, I can quickly read them over and then I'll actually look at the talents. Um, but the most noticeable ones are um, Flying Serpent Kick, got a little bit of a change. Hey, healing stat. Uh, Flying Serpent Kick uh, lasts for 1.5 seconds, down from two, so that basically just means that you're not gonna travel as far when you use your Flying Serpent Kick. And honestly, I'm a little bit fine with that. Windwalker Monks have incredible mobility. Uh, BFA is going to be no exception. A slight nerf to Flying Serpent Kick I think is uh, completely warranted and completely fine. Okay. Uh, the next thing I wanted to go over was some of the ta some of the talents um, that they ended up changing for Windwalker Monks. So we have Good Karma now. And now I'll show you. I can just show you these guys. So we have Good Karma. Touch of Karma can now redirect an additional 50% of your maximum health. So, when Windwalker Monks first came out, we had basically a 100% redirect um, of your maximum health. So, not only would you absorb basically 100% of your health and damage, you'd also reflect 100% of your health and damage. They nerfed that uh, moving forward, um, and they made it so it was then a 50% um, absorb and redirect, um, but you would heal a little bit uh, as you took damage. So defensively, it was about the same. Offensively, I was a little bit worse because it didn't redirect as much damage. Now with this talent, um, it's gonna be really strong, I think, because now once again, it absorbs 100% of your health and redirects 100% of the damage uh, taken. I'll give you like an example of when this is gonna be good. So I was actually recently dueling Naj on his sub rogue and it was really, really rough. Basically, with his vanishes and his dances and his evasions, he could just rush me down and burst me through my karma. I didn't have enough time to live. I wasn't absorbing enough damage. So now, with this talent, um, I'll, I think I have enough absorb to survive that sort of super offensive push. Uh, obviously redirect more damage to him and it'll give me time to sort of push through and survive. So defensively, uh, good karma is gonna be really good for keeping yourself alive. Obviously the downside is you don't get Ring of Peace if you choose it, which I think is a fair trade-off and it'll actually make for a pretty uh, interesting row. Uh, what up, Chow? How you doing, man? Uh, the next noticeable change is uh, Serenity. So Serenity got a change as well. Um, the damage increase went from 40% to 20%, so significant nerf to Serenity in terms of how much damage it gives you. That being said, um, they uh, upped up the duration um, from eight seconds to 12 seconds. So you get four additional seconds on the duration, but the damage you get uh, is a little bit lower. And I personally like this change, um, especially with Serenity being on the global cooldown. I think, um, I think having it up for a little bit longer is gonna be nice. I also think that Serenity was too much damage. Um, it was really, really fun. You could easily just like one-shot people, but I just think it was too much damage overall. So. Um, or too good of an offensive cooldown, so I'm glad they toned it down a little bit. Whirling Dragon Punch is the same, and then we actually have a new talent called Spiritual Focus. Hello Grims, hello Miras. Spiritual Focus, every two chi you spend reduces the cooldown of Storm Earth and Fire by one second. Now, this reminds me of a lot of other classes. Basically, it's a talent sort of like um, kindling for fire mages. To give you an example, where when you crit, it reduces the cooldown of combustion. This is basically, as you do your rotation, your offensive cooldown is a shorter cooldown. Now, I think this could be good in some situations. In Arena, it's probably still going to be worth playing like Whirling Dragon Punch or Serenity, but um, I'll have to mess around with it. But the idea of not having Whirling Dragon Punch makes me really, really sad, as I do think it's like such a fun ability. Um, but it, it is an interesting decision that they did add it. and. I actually think most of the talent rows for Windwalker Monks are semi-interesting. I um, actually think they're all pretty interesting at this point. So, yeah, in terms of just regular talents, if you're a raider or, you know, um, you do dungeons or you PvP, 
I actually think moving forward into BFA, we, Windwalker Monks are actually going to be relatively solid overall. They have a good kit, similar to Legion, but uh, with a few changes um, in your rotation and stuff like that, and the way you burst. Uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. I just wanted to like, yeah, make a quick little, quick little update. Um, I'm gonna obviously stream on my monk and do a lot of PvP on it, and I'll keep you guys updated as to what I think about um, the changes as they come. But yeah, thanks for watching. All right, bye everyone. Oh, my God.